Welcome back to Comics Are Dope. I'm BJ Kicks, and today we're doing an overview of the Batman Adventures Omnibus. All right, so we're going to do an overview of the Batman Adventures Omnibus. And I'm filming this on my phone just because I think this might be a little bit easier. We'll see how this goes. So uh, the Batman Adventures Omnibus, written by Kelly Puckett and Paul Dini, with art by Bruce Tim and Mike Parabek. Mostly, there are other people who contribute to this book throughout. Uh, so first of all, uh, let's talk about what this collects. So for that, we'll flip over to the back. So this book collects the Batman Adventures 1 through 36, the Batman Adventures Annual 1 and 2, um, as well as the Batman Adventures Holiday Special number one, so one shot, um, and the Batman Adventures Mad Love number one, a story from Batman Black and White, and the comic book adaptation of Batman Mask of the Phantasm, which is this book you see here. Uh, now, as far as what's not collected in here, what is not collected in here is a series that came after Batman and Robin Adventures. Uh, that was a separate follow-up series with, you know, more of the Bat family set in the animated universe. This also does not include Batman The Adventures Continue. That is a currently ongoing series of miniseries. We're on season three. I want to say issue eight just came out of season three at the time of this recording. None of those are in there. So maybe there'll be a future collection. I don't know. I think a Batman and Robin Adventures omnibus could be cool, though. So... We've got beautiful art that I presume is by Bruce Tim, but it could also be by Ty Templeton or Mike Parabek. Uh, so real quick, we will do the uh, size comparison. So this is an oversized hardcover. So as you can see, this is an original issue of Batman Adventures number one. Um, and you can see how much bigger this hardcover is than that. Um, and there we go. So I'm going to take off this dust jacket. This is beautiful art. I don't know who is credited with this image. I've seen it all over the place, literally from the time I was a child. So that's that. Quick look at the spine. Batman Adventures Omnibus. Same uh, haunting image of Batman with that red sun background. And boom, here we go. Here's your first look at the artboard. And as you can see, there is a sort of wraparound image. So let's look at that on the hardcover artboards. Very nice image of Batman looking down at his rogues gallery. We got Poison Ivy, the Riddler, Harley Quinn, Clayface, Killer Croc, Catwoman. This is probably my favorite Catwoman look, the animated series look. There was an art germ cover with her animated series look a few years ago. Love that cover. Barbara Gordon Batgirl over here. No love for my man Dick Grayson Robin. He's not in this picture. But I did stretch the spine already, so let's go ahead and look at the book. A nice little image here. A little spotlight view of Batman and the whole cast of characters. We see I see Doctor Strange or Hugo Strange. This is is it not he's not Doctor Strange, he's just Hugo Strange. Uh, Mr. Freeze, Alfred. More Batgirl, The Phantasm, um, and a lot of others. Batman Adventures Omnibus, here are our credits. So like I said, Kelly Puckett, Paul Dini, Bruce Tim, Ty Templeton, uh, so many writers. And then even more pencilers, John Burns got an issue in here, Klaus Jansen. Very, very nice. So there's all our credits. Bruce Tim and John Calmet, that's who did this cover. And there we go. Now, this one, we've got a table of contents. Uh, I love this image of Batman, by the way. This obviously being the most iconic portrayal of Batman ever, in my opinion. Like, whether it's film. Oh, snap. I got a little bit of an issue here. Some of these pages, I don't know if the ink just didn't set before they tried to assemble it, but that's uh, that's no good. My first time going through this, obviously. Uh, but yeah, 
We got forward Scott Peterson. No, not that Scott Peterson. Also Kelly Bucket. Uh, so very cool stuff. And then here we go. Straight into it. Kelly Puckett, Ty Templeton. Word to the wise, if you're going to do this, don't do it with a low battery. But uh, anyway, first issue, Penguin's Big Score. So these are comic book issues inspired by the Batman animated series. I guess a common question is, hey, do all of these issues correspond with episodes of the animated series? The answer to that is no. Uh, these are all new stories being told for comics, but they're based on the hit Fox Kids TV show. So we got that beautiful art style. Selena Kyle is a blonde. <laughs> um, classic Bruce Wayne. They don't give Bruce Wayne the brown suit. Interesting. Now, when I was doing my, um, when I was, I did my, uh, most anticipated omnis and I covered this book. Uh, so a lot of people in the comments were giving this really, really high praise. Like this was some of the best comics of the nineties period. And I guess that makes sense, right? Like this portrayal sticks out. This is one of the best, uh, adaptations period, right? It's the best animated comic book adaptation in my opinion some people say x-men the animated series is up there i won't dispute them but man i when i look at this especially when i look at this cover i hear the theme song i hear shirley walker i hear all of it i hear it all um but yeah so, yeah, this does not directly adapt any uh, episodes of the animated series. These are all new stories being told for the comics. Um, and it's really awesome. Uh, I've only had very limited exposure to this series. I have collected some issues, not all. DC was doing uh, reprints of, the, of these for a little while. And I was only buying those reprints around the same time they started the uh, Adventures Continue series. They would do the Adventures Continue and then they would release like a reprint, a facsimile of the original series. And I was collecting those because I was hoping they would get to issue 12, which of course is the first appearance of Harley Quinn. And we're actually coming up on it pretty soon. Look at Man Bat on Leather Wings over here. So first appearance of Harley Quinn in comics is in this series, like I said, in issue 12 right here. And they've reprinted this a few times, but never like just a straight up facsimile reprint like. But they've done the dollar comics, which had, the, which had this little border up here that said dollar comics. Um, and they did another reprint, but it didn't look exactly right either. So I was hoping like we'd get a facsimile of this that just looked like this. And DC has been doing more facsimiles since then, but they never did one of this first appearance of Harley Quinn. But obviously Harley Quinn has gone on to become like quite the well-known character, definitely the breakout from this Batman animated series. Um, although I would argue some of the uh, best portrayals of all of Batman's rogues gallery come in this animated series. I mean, Scarface, like, dude, I love it. I love Scarface in the animated series. Uh, Mr. Freeze has amazing episodes. Uh, it has his character redefined in the uh, Heart of Ice storyline. And the Joker's the, just the Joker, like <laughs> Gotham Adventures. But like, can you imagine a Joker without Mark Hamill's voice? Like... Again, just the definitive portrayals of so many of these characters. We got Raz al Ghul, Robin and Batgirl. This is Dick Grayson Robin, by the way. Uh, Tim Drake Robin comes in later in the series. 
I don't think Tim Grace or Dick Grace, Tim Drake, Tim Drake, excuse me. I don't think Tim Drake shows up in this omnibus at all. I think it's all Dick Grace. Well, look at this Scarecrow. Like this series was just iconic, if for no other reason than the character designs. But the fact that this series backs up the story with, or the looks with the story is just beautiful. Real quick, we can take a look at just how good the reproduction is, like how the colors look. We've got some issues here side by side I can compare it to. So there we go. Obviously, this is probably faded a little bit, a little worn, but you can see how the colors are a little bit muted in comparison. Like this it looks a little bit more peach. That looks a bit more gray. But then when we look at the actual artwork in the first issue, there's no comparison, right? Like this is printed on newsprint. The paper is old. Like obviously there are ads. So if you want to read this series outside of reading it digitally, this is probably the way to go. <laughs> the shadow starring Alec Baldwin. But yeah, I mean, look at that. So it's very nice to have this in this beautiful oversized format on this nice glossy white paper to really let the artwork and the colors shine. Um, yeah, man, there was no way you were going to convince me to not buy this book like at all. There's the Batman Adventures Annual number one. Ah, uh, that's great. Wesker's got a new uh, puppet. And now Scarface has got him. Dang, Scarface. Nice uh, Dark Knight Returns looking Batman there. Definitely a different art style. But still the same. Oh, this is Klaus Janssen. Makes sense. Klaus Janssen, who was... Did he ink on Dark Knight Returns? I believe he did. So, very, very cool. Super Friends. We got an appearance from the animated Superman, complete with the mullet. Gotta love that. Nice little world's finest team up there. Batman Family Adventures. Still got Dick and Barbara. This is just such a beautiful book, man. <laughs> Batman racing people. I'm excited to get into this. I've seen every episode of the animated series like a million times. I watch it. I rewatch it so often, but I've not read many of these comics. Just the few that I could like, you know, that I grabbed on eBay for reasonable prices. And I mostly grabbed them for the covers, uh, just depending on, you know, what I was into, what I could find. Um, here in a minute, we're going to get to the Mask of the Phantasm. Adaptation. This will be the first time that's printed in any sort of oversized format. But man, this book is beautiful. Also, animated series is my favorite Alfred. Like, he's just just perfectly sassy. <laughs> and look at him. Look at his face. It's all there. All the, all the shade he wants to throw. You can see it. It's right there in his eyes. The way he casually pours his tea. <laughs> Gosh, man. I love this animated series so much. And... That's the great thing about being into comics as a later, per like coming into comics as an adult. There's so much of this that I missed out on. I get to enjoy this for the first time. So it's nostalgia for the TV show, but these are going to be brand new stories to me, even though I've worn out my DVDs of the animated series. So there we go. Animated fan, uh, animated movie, Mask of the Phantasm. If you've not watched the Mask of the Phantasm movie, 
you're tripping. And if I'm real, like this at this comic is kind of like a shot for shot adaptation of it. So I'm going to skip through it as to not spoil anything. And then we get into Mad Love, written by Paul Dini, art by Bruce Tim. This became an episode of the animated series, but it did exist in comic format first. And very cool. You get basically the origin of Harley Quinn and um, explanation as to how she became who she is and why she's so obsessed with the Joker and what that nets her. Um, it's interesting, like seeing Harley Quinn over the years, because her portrayal in this Mad Love special um, is kind of like as like a helpless, like not very much in control of herself, just all of the things. And then nowadays, you know, in some universes, she's like killed the Joker and others. She's just like stuck it to the man. She's dating whoever she wants to date right now. She's dating Poison Ivy. So cool stuff. And now we've got to the extras. We're at a pinup gallery in the back. As if you didn't have enough animated series inspired Batman, this Mike Mignola is great. Mr. Freeze. Ooh, I like that one. Nice little wrap brown cover. This would have been cool for the artboard as well, or even the cover of the book. This is the one they use for the artboard. Now I want to try, <laughs> chase down Batman Adventures number seven in the poly bag so I can get this little card. And there we go. We got creator bios. And that is that. Now, as far as uh, the actual dust jacket on the French flaps, I'm vengeance. I'm the knight. I am Batman. And more creator bios. And man, that's the book. So. As of this recording, this book is still available at our channel sponsor, Organic Priced Books. And um, hey, you can grab it. You can save $2 on the purchase if you use my coupon code BJKicks at checkout. And um, hey, if not, no worries. But if you're buying three or more books, you can also use the code BJKicks, ship it together. Uh, you'll get a 5% off of your order. It'll be shipped in one convenient package. And we are done with this overview. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you guys in another one real soon. Peace.